It is the 47th anniversary of Jim Morrison's death, July 3rd, 2018. And there's so much stuff that is, you know, remembered. And one of those things that is highly remembered is The Doors' first album, their self-titled debut album, which is one of my favorite albums of all time. I like to, in some ways, rent them via Spotify and just listen to the albums. And instantly I was a... I was a Doors fan. I knew about Jim Morrison and his band The Doors before then. I just didn't quite listen to their music until a year ago. Now, as a Doors fan, I think I'm I feel that it's right for me to review their self-titled debut album, released in 1967, exactly 51 years ago, January 1967. That album just took them to the top instantly they were immediately on the same place as the Beatles the Rolling Stones and Bob Dylan so yeah they were huge they were up there it all started when Jim Morrison met Ray Manzarek or started hanging out with Ray Manzarek on the beach at Venice Beach and Ray asked Jim what's going on Jim said I'm working on some songs and Ray said well sing me one and then he sang Moonlight Drive and Moonlight Drive is the birth song of The Doors. It wasn't released until their second album, which was in September 1967, Strange Days. It's a hypnotizer. Like, Jim is a hypnotizer with his voice. You're almost in a bit of a trance. When I first listened to their self-titled album, I didn't know where I was. I'm like, wow, I feel I'm in some sort of hypnotic spell listening to this. And not to mention it was psychedelic rock. And I was like, this is rock? This is more like hypnotizing music. You never know like, if Jim's going to scream or, or just be his smooth, hypnotic, high voice. And when I say high voice, I don't mean high pitch voice. I mean his like, does he sound high? Because when I heard his songs, I was like, he sounded high. And... um I think he was most days. Not to mention, according to those who knew him, he was an alcoholic. And But in other words, if I had to choose my favorite songs off their self-titled album besides Light My Fire and Break On Through to the Other Side, it's also the Alabama song slash Whiskey Bar, 20th Century Fox, Crystal Shep, Backdoor Man, and, well, overall, the entire album. The entire album is just to die for. If you're a fan of music, especially if you want to have good music for, say, if Midsummer Night's Dream was set in 1967, 1968, the entire soundtrack should be The Doors' self-titled album. How will I rate it? It is worth buying on vinyl slash LP. And I just, I own it currently, and I'll listen to it over and over. It's such a good album. The end, however, is a bit of a... Ugh shaker like what is jim singing about murder is he singing about his inner demons like what's the whole point of saying that he wants to kill someone jim was a mystery jim always will be a mystery